amending appointments. You may find it necessary from time to time to make adjustments to the existing appointments on your diary. For example, to extend or reduce the time of an appointment. To do this, hover over an appointment and then hold your finger down on the ALT key on your keyboard. Then, pressing your finger down on the left hand mouse button, click and drag down to extend the time of the appointment or up to reduce the time of the appointment. When you have reached the desired length, simply let go of the ALT key and the mouse button and the appointment will be adjusted accordingly. To move an appointment into a different column or a different time slot, simply hover over the appointment, hold down your left hand mouse button and drag the appointment to the desired time and slot that you wish to move it to. When you've reached the time slot, simply let go of the left hand mouse button. If you would like to reschedule an appointment and move it to an alternative day and time, double click the appointment you wish to move and this will open up the booking details screen. Select the reschedule button on the left hand side of the booking details screen and then using either the week buttons at the bottom of the diary page or the date button at the top left hand corner go to the date you wish to move the appointment to. Then select the time slot and the column of the person that you wish to move the appointment into. For this example, we're going to move it to 12 o'clock with Anne. The appointment will be placed in the time that you've selected. To reschedule appointments for a client who has more than one booked on the same day, there is a slightly different method involved. First of all, double click on one of the appointments you wish to move to open up the booking details screen. Select the reschedule button on the left hand side and a message will then appear to inform you that the client has multiple bookings for this day and asking if you would like to reschedule them all. Select the green tick to say yes. The bookings will now be placed on the booking clipboard at the very top of the diary screen. Using the date buttons at the bottom of the diary screen or the main date button on the top left hand side, go to the date that you wish to move the appointment to. Then hover over one of the appointments on the booking clipboard and holding down your left hand mouse button, drag the appointment down to the relevant time slot in the column of the person to which you wish to move it. In this example, we're going to move the dial colour down to 12.45 with Anne. Let go of the left hand mouse button and the appointment will be booked into that slot. The booking confirmation screen will then appear just confirming the details. Select the green tick and repeat this process with the second appointment. Hover over, hold down your left hand mouse button and drag it down to the required time slot. Let go of the left hand mouse button and again the booking confirmation screen will appear. Tick to save and your appointments have now been rescheduled. To cancel an appointment, double click on the relevant appointment on the diary page to open up the booking details screen. Select the cancel button on the left hand side and a window will then appear just checking if you're sure you want to cancel this booking. Select the green tick to say yes and the booking will be removed from the screen. To cancel multiple bookings for a client, double click one of the bookings you wish to cancel to open up the booking details screen. Select the cancel button on the left hand side and a new window will then appear checking if you wish to cancel these bookings. You have two options to cancel just the one booking or to cancel all client bookings for this day. Select the latter and then select the green tick to continue. Both of the bookings will then be removed from the diary page. Details of a client's cancelled appointment are stored on the notes section of their client record card. If you wish to view these notes, double click on a client's appointment on the diary page and this will open up the booking details screen. 
select the client button on the right hand side and this will take you into the client's record card. Select the notes button at the bottom of the record card and you will now see details of any cancelled appointments and any other notes that have been manually typed onto their record. We can see here this client has cancelled a number of appointments in the past and most recently on the 2nd of February 2011. Select the green tick to save any changes and close the record. To remove bookings from the diary for reasons other than a client cancelling, there's a slightly different way of doing this. Double click one of the appointments you wish to remove and this will open up the booking details window. Now instead of selecting the cancel button, we'll now select the delete button on the right hand side of the booking details screen. We're then asked if we're sure we want to delete the bookings for this client and you have two options. You may either just delete the one booking or delete all client bookings for this day and the future. Do be careful when selecting the second option because it does do as it says and removes all future bookings for this client from the diary. Select the option you wish and then select the green tick to confirm. The booking or bookings will now be removed.